repeat that back quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Government address. <laughs> Sorry, I won't ask you to do that. Hey, thanks, Don. Go uh, ahead now. We got the hurricane on land. Isn't yeah, great. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's good to get rid of. It. I'm getting kind of tired of talking I'll about you over there. Yeah. But uh, we, he may be back in our forecast by the end of the weekend into early next week in the form of some heavy rains. I'll be back with the detailed weekend outlook. You can see it's raining out in the backyard there. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Uh, by the way, that was uh, before we went to the commercial break. My cameraman Marty uh, dancing in the rain out here. A little bit of Fred Astaire uh, coming out in him. Yeah, it's raining out here uh, in the city tonight. Let's run down these current weather numbers. Temperature 71 degrees. Winds are out of the south at 10. Humidity up there 90 percent. The barometer falling. And the air quality. We have. If my microphone will keep working in the rain here. High temperature of. 81 degrees this afternoon and the low temperature this morning was 61 about two hundredths of an inch of rain so far today and uh, we will see uh, temperatures probably in the 80s coming our way over the how it looks on the radar right now the back end of this light rain not too far out to the west of us so it should be ending within the next couple of hours let me show you a closer view on the radar we'll go down to the 60 mile range this is light rain here further on south around Hodgenville to south of Lebanon uh, the rain is on the moderate side, but even then, it's not all that heavy. Again, should be ending by morning across Kentuckiana. Now, earlier this afternoon, uh, during the late afternoon hours, a band of heavy rain was falling north of the Louisville area. Some areas across Clark County, Indiana, picked up over an inch of rain this afternoon. That area of moderate rain has been falling down south uh, during the evening hours. But look how close the clear skies are to us this evening. Some drier air will be moving in. We'll see some sunshine for tomorrow. With the heating, though, there may be an afternoon thunderstorm popping up. So, all in all, a Saturday looks like a pretty decent day. Lots of festivals and fairs going on, and the weather, I'm glad to say, looks right there. Here's the hurricane. Gilbert moving inland now across the coast of Mexico. It's been sending out moisture this way. The rain we're having this evening, this is moisture from Gilbert. Not really a part of the hurricane, but it sent this moisture up from the Gulf of Mexico. He'll send another batch of moisture up on Sunday, and then the main rains will be late in the weekend. Right now, it looks like the heavy rains may stay out to the west of us across the Mississippi Valley. This will be Sunday night or Monday. Still a chance of some heavy rains here from him, but we'll, we'll get some, some rain definitely, but it looks like we may miss the heavy rains. Craig Edwards will track that for you all weekend long. Let's go on with the forecast now. Overnight tonight, the uh, light rain ending, and this thunderstorm chance, forget about that now, that has faded away. 67 degrees, the overnight low. And then for tomorrow, a partly sunny, warm, and humid, a sticky day tomorrow with a high of 85, that 40% chance of an afternoon thunderstorm. Sunday's forecast, uh, back up to about a 70% chance of rain, scattered showers and storms, high 82, and the rain may be heavy by Sunday night. Keep up on the latest forecast throughout the weekend by calling the Wave 3 forecast line, 581-WAVE, that's 581-9283. And if you're kind of sleeping, weren't paying attention to what I was just saying, give it a call right now, you have my permission. We'll see you at the zoo tomorrow, John. That's right. Uh, you'll be there at 1.30, Don. I'll That's be right. there at 3. It's uh, Read for Kids' Sake Day, and bring your library card to get in free. That's right. Thank you, John. All right.